Welcome back to Go Game Academy, or as we like to call it, AGA. Um, we got a great game for you that we want to talk about. And I bet you haven't heard of it. Probably haven't. Um, it's published by Z-Man Games, uh, which, is, which is a big publisher out there. Um, it's called Carcassonne. Carcassonne, it's one of the most popular games that has ever existed. It's by Z-Man Games, and they make all kinds of good games. We just reviewed Camel Up, which we love as well, that won Game of the Year in, I think, 2014. Mm -hmm. But this one was much earlier in 2001. Uh, geez, let's look at the specs. What is it? They say that it's for 13 plus, uh, two to five players, and 30 to 45 minutes. I would say that it holds about that, 30 oh, to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, but depending on if you have expansions or not, you can go above five players. And we, we have expansions, and so I can't, I can't remember, six or seven players. Uh, and uh, just really good. I, I don't know... Uh, I don't know about you, this is probably my favorite game that has ever been invented, which I know is a bold claim, and I'm not really sure why. I guess let's get into kind of the difficulty, and mm -hmm. I, I think part of the reason that I like it so much is it's not hard. There are a couple of harder concepts to it, but for the most part, yeah. it's pretty easy. Before we get too much into the video on Carcassonne and what we think about the game, we do want to mention that here, we'll leave it up in the, kind of link it up here above us. We do uh, kind of game nights where we hit all of our favorite games against each other, like the games of the year occasionally, mm -hmm. um, for the Spiel des Jahres games of the year. And so we did it with these ones. And so uh, look up here, and if you want to see which ones we liked, which ones kind of we didn't like as much uh, as we played all these games together, uh, definitely check that out. We'll get back to the video now. Yeah, so it's definitely fun. It's not too difficult to learn. Um, basically what you're doing is you're, you're developing land, um, you know, in an in ancient uh, French city. Right, and so you're you're developing the the fields, the roads, um, you know, and it it it's it's just really fun, honestly, and and you're claiming those things as you go, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So Carcassonne, obviously, that French city. There's still a castle there, actually, today. It's it's a real place. But what you're doing in the game, you're really building the board as you go, which is mm -hmm. another reason probably that we like it so much. Definitely. Is that there the game is really just made up of tiles and meeples, and that's that's about it. And so. There's there's a tile that starts in the center, and then you everyone takes a turn. You grab tiles, and on your turn, you just lay a tile and potentially put a meeple down there. And what you're doing is you're just building castles, building roads, uh, putting meeples in fields, and putting them on monasteries and other things like that. And so it's so fun because the game is different every time. And I guess that kind of goes into the replayability of it is that mm -hmm. there's no two games that are ever the same because depending on who's playing or depending depending on the strategy that everybody takes the the map looks significantly different sometimes there are huge Definitely. castles yeah. that people have built that are worth lots and lots of points and sometimes they're just a million little tiny castles that that aren't worth very much but then make other parts of the game like the fields that you're um that you're farming in worth a lot more yeah and so I, I just, it's, it's just one of the most replayable games. You can play it over and over again. In fact, this game right here, uh, I don't know if you can tell that it's so worn down. Uh, the, the printing on the cards themselves are starting to wear off because we've played it so many times. I don't know that there's a game <laughs> I've played more than Carcassonne. Yeah, probably not. Um, an another fun aspect to this game um, is, is the way that you can bring, bring your player into into that of another's, right? And so if, if Nahir owns, you know, a castle that has 10 pieces to it, I can, you know, in, in different ways, I can, I can bring myself into it and, and own part of that castle. And that way I, we have to split then the, uh, the points at the end of the game that, that's received from that castle. Right, so we both get them, which is awesome, right? So for people that like the more combative or at least the more interactive games, it's perfect. For people mm -hmm. that don't, you don't have to do that in a game, nope. but it's just the ability that you can where somebody can work their way into your castle that you've spent turns upon turns building this big castle. Someone else can get there or steal it from you if they put right. enough meeples into it. And so, man, it's just replayable depending on who you're playing. And the other reason it's so replayable is that it's there's so many expansions. Oh, yeah. Man, yeah, there's, there's, I don't a know, a dozen, a dozen expansions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Some of them even come with expansions uh, in it. This one comes with the river, uh, which is one of the expansions. So it, it injects a different element into the game. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them give extra points depending on the different types of castle pieces or, or whatnot. And so it's just, there's just so many options for this game. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk for a second, though, about the best scenario as far as how many people to play. Two to five to six or seven, depending on how many expansions you have in the game. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it says, the, bo the box here says two to five. You know that that works. Um, one one thing that that I really like about this game is it, you know, you you can play it with two, right? Yep. 
my wife and I, and, and, and then, you know, we have, we have two kids, you know, under the age of two. And so, you know, they're not, they're not going to play. And so if, we're, you know, we're just having a, a night at home and we want to play a game, we can pull, pull this one out. Yep. Whereas I a agree. lot of other games, you know, they, a lot of games require at least four, right? And so this one, this one's great for two, but it also goes to five or six, you know, depending on, on how many expansions you have, you can go up to eight. And so it's a, it's a great party game as well that you can play with a bunch of friends. Yeah, I agree. It's it's It doesn't really change much. I mean, every game changes when you add players to it. Mm-hmm. But, man, it's so great with two players, and it's great with up to four, five, six players. I mean, it's just it's just really fun. The, the game, it seems to move quickly and uh, keep its integrity. My my wife's mom really loves to play games, and when she comes into town, uh, we, we tend to play this game a lot. And mm-hmm. with three players, that's great. My wife and I sit down and play it, and two players, just like he said. So it's perfect. Okay, so let's talk about... If you were going to say a unique aspect of this game, um, I think I probably already already covered what I would say is a unique aspect: the, the fact that you can kind of pull your, pull yourself into someone else's kind of property and co-own it, um, and and there's really nothing they can do about it if you're able to connect it. Um, and and honestly, you'll have to play to really understand what I'm talking about. Um, but but that's that's one of my favorite things. Uh, to do, I I have a buddy who he that's all he would ever try to do. Um, you know, while while we were playing, is <laughs> yep. is his entire purpose sharing is caring. Was he yep, he would say his way. <laughs> exactly. He would try to say sharing is caring, and he would he would try every time to to kind of include himself into someone else's property that they've spent the entire game building, and he would just kind of come in and then you know Work you'd have to way in, share those points, use uh, a couple of tiles, and and do it. Yeah, totally. Um, I, I agree with that. I think the, the thing for me, it's not so unique anymore, but when it came out, it was unique, mm-hmm. is the use of meeples, I would say. Uh, meeples you see in all kinds of games. So when it came out, this is kind of the game that introduced meeples. And I don't know what it is about meeples, but I love playing games that have meeples in them. That's, I think, why I like Five Tribes mm-hmm. so much, which is another game uh, that's just really awesome. Uh, but I would say I would say that let's talk about let's talk about cost uh, with cost it's it's about thirty bucks uh, for the original uh, forty fifty and up from there depending on how many expansions come with it mm-hmm. uh, well worth it man if you're looking for a game that's easy granted there's a learning curve to learn how to farm and how it all how that, all there, of that works there is but it is fun and, I mean yeah. it, it's so fun yeah so it I, really is. I, it's the learning curve is really small compared to how fun it is. Mm-hmm. Um, not like some of these other games that are far more complicated. That yeah. pe- you know, at least in the industry, people will be like, "Oh, this game's so great," and then you we play it and they're like, ah, "It's it's it's too long or it's too complicated." This game's thirty minutes. It's very easy. There's a little bit of learning, and then once you have it down, it's you're going. Well, I guess there is some luck aspect to it because you know you're pulling tiles and then placing them, right? But then once you have the tiles that you're placing, it, it's all strategy, strategy from, from, from that from then on, right? And so, you know, it, if you like strategy games, more strategy games and less luck games, this is the game for you. Yep. It's yep. easy. Uh, it's easy to learn. Really, it's fun to play, and it, the majority of it is is how you're going to play the piece and and try to win, right? And so it's it's a lot of strategy. Yep, yep. And the luck aspect, I think most games, all games, honestly, need some sort of luck. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously things like chess that don't have any luck, I don't really like them very much. I like there to be some sort of luck injected into the game, even mm-hmm. if it's small. So there's a little bit of chance for you to come out and win, even if you're behind or whatever. So anyway, so it's well worth the cost of, of, of buying this mm-hmm. game, 30, 40 bucks, and you'll play... You could play hundreds of times, and it really doesn't get old, or doesn't get old like some other games do. Mm-hmm. Okay, give them one reason to buy. We may we may have already done this. Oh, we've one reason I'd, to buy. I'd give them many. The, honestly, this is my favorite game. Um, I think my favorite game of all time. Um, like I said earlier, it it's a lot of strategy, a little bit of luck, and those are the best kind of games for me because um, I, I like thinking strategically, um, and I like games that make me think even more strategically than I already do. Um, and so this is this is a great game to buy. Yeah, I would say, man, yeah, you're right. It's just it's hard to even put into words why it's just it's just a great game. But if I were to say, gosh, if I were to say one thing, it would be uh, the variability of the game. The the way the the mm-hmm. game gets built differently every time. It creates a different okay, scenario, a different definitely. set of um, results that change your strategy or cause you to change your strategy throughout the game. So that would be that would be the reason to buy. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you're going to have to um, test it out at some point if it's something you're looking into. 
even if that just means taking the plunge and buying it for 30 bucks, it's, it's well worth it. So other than that, we hope that we earned your subscription today. If not, at least a like. Comment down below with your experience with this awesome game, Carcassonne, and what you yeah, think of it. Know. If you agree that it's your favorite game or what game you like more, and we will see you next time.